Waking up, we are in Kitimat. I'm um, in the parking lot uh, here at uh, at Coho Flats. It was a solid spot to sleep. We're gonna hike the the Mount Elizabeth Trail today. Um, depending on weather, we'll go to the summit. If there's if there's not weather, if the weather's not good, we'll go to the saddle. But if we go all the way up, it's about 1,800 meters elevation gain. So really, really big one um, today. Uh, that, that, that'll be fun because we've been doing a lot of driving, so it'll be nice that we're hiking again. Laura's got the uh, the, the the food cooking up here. Just uh, this is gonna be our lunch today. Just some peanut oh wow <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter and banana wraps and uh, coffee's steeped. So it's gonna be a good one. Hey, here we go. Ooh, hello, friend. Now we're going in for the ultimate car yes, wash. Yes, okay. I might have to put my thing up because, uh, as you can see, we're gonna get this is the cleaning uh, rinse, the soap. And then this is that really one that, you know, that powerful one. <laughs> okay. Woo. Holy cow. A couple oh. of trees. Just a few. This is the, whoa. Oh. You know, some, some trucks are just a little too big for some of these roads. And uh, this is one of those trucks. Like if you look, like if you look out here, it is just like this vehicle is not really made. Oh, that branch is bad here. Oh man. Or, yeah, just very grown over. That's like. Oh, hello. This kind of makes you cringe. I know it's nails on a chalkboard. Well, at least I'm not too obsessed with my paint job. Oh my goodness. And we just got a car wash. So I, I didn't learn my lesson at Paddy Peak and I tried to drive up another four by four road, Northern BC. And uh, we made it up about one kilometer. It looks pretty mellow now from here on out. We found a spot to turn around, so we took the advantage. It wasn't too steep, but it's so tight and the truck is so big. So it's not like the, necessarily the best four by four vehicle. Anyways, we are headed up to Mount Elizabeth. Um, we got a little bit of a hike from here. And then we get onto the, the main trail. It's 1800 meters elevation and uh, we're gonna crush it. I'm thinking six and a half hours. It's gonna be beautiful. Looks like it's starting to clear up, which is good. So that means we'll probably be able to make a shot for the summit. We're headed from here and we're gonna hike to the summit of Mount Elizabeth. This is baby Elizabeth. Then we go down the saddle and up to the top. So we're walking up, we crawl under this tree, like we get on our stomachs, we crawl under this tree. Laura goes, there's a wasp nest there. Boom, boom, she gets nailed. And then I have no choice, I have to run through it, like with her. So I run through these wasps and I get absolutely destroyed. One, two, I've got three on my leg and I'm pretty sure on the back of my legs here, I got five. They went right up my shorts. Well, they flew up my shorts and I'm killing them in my shorts, so. We're gonna have to dodge that on the way down. Oh. That sucked. Holy cow. Whew. What a morning. I'm standing here with my pants off and I'm gonna walk. Only got my legs, my upper body is fine. How you doing there? My cow. Where'd it get you? There. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's washed. They just take a chunk out of you. And it's swelling a bit. There. My yeah, calf my feels so tense. Yeah, it tightens it up, it's gonna swell. Just keep our eyes on it. Oh yeah, that's really swelling up. Oh my god, look at that. Yeah, it's getting pretty big. I've got about 12. They got me in the ankles. They got me in the other ankle. Got me on the knee. They got me all up my legs. So we're taking a quick breather here. We just got freaking destroyed. Um, that sucked. Okay, we're bringing the count up to 14. I've got two in my chest. So I guess I should maybe take my shirt off. How are we feeling? Yeah, it stings. I got stings everywhere. My ankles are, oh, my ankle's kind of swelling. My ankle's swelling, my ass is swelling, my knee is swelling. Fantastic. Nothing like starting the day with 12 wasp stings. <laughs> I, was already, I was already in a bit of trouble because I drove this crazy logging road and the truck was getting all scratched. Like I could hear the, I could hear the side panels getting scratched and it was so tight. Oh, is that another bee? I'm gonna lose it. Where's the bee? 
Oh God. Oh, this does not feel good. It's been about one hour, we're at 900 meters, so we only did about 400 meters in that hour. But that hour was crazy. We got stung by, I think I have 15 was the count, something like that bites. Laura's got about four, but Laura's unfortunately is really, really swollen on her leg. I didn't quite swell up as much, but we're gonna keep pushing up. I think we get to the Alpine at around 1200 meters, so another 300 meters and we'll get out of this dastardly forest. Just kind of poking out through the bushes. And you can just see kind of through the bushes here, you can see the town of Kitimat right in there. Cool. Anyways, there's the viewpoint. We're still stinging like a lot, <laughs> but uh, getting higher, which is nice. We're socked into the forest for a, a little while. We're getting closer to the Alpine, so that'll feel good. And it looks like the clouds are kind of coming in and rolling out slowly. It's one of those days where the clouds are kind of sitting yeah, yeah. on the mountaintop. So we'll see what happens. But an hour 45 up to here. So I think we're kind of getting to the base of Little Elizabeth right now. But we got blue sky kind of to the right in, uh, in Kitimat. But there's just one huge cloud looming over the peak here. Nothing we can do about that, just fingers crossed it, it moves for us or at least there's enough visibility that we can finish. So that cloud looks uh, very unfavorable. Um, the peak we're trying to climb is this one here, that's Mount Elizabeth, and I think this one's Baby Elizabeth here. So you go up the baby, down the saddle, and then back up the big one. We're gonna have a little snack here because we didn't eat breakfast, so we're gonna have a snack and, uh, and kind of see if the clouds are moving fast or slow or what the deal is, and peanut butter, banana in a wrap, socked in, goodness gracious. There's a little memorial here um, in loving memory of Chris Markoff and Christina Huckville. They passed away hiking uh, here in 2002, so rest in peace. Um, we're getting sights of uh, getting sights of baby Elizabeth now here. I thought we'd uh, be out of the forest now that we're in the Alpine, but it's just a straight up um, kind of still feeling kind of socked in up here, but lots of elevation gain. You know, I love it. I guess what do I expect? We're making our way up Baby Lizzie. We're almost to the top of it here. We can just kind of make out Elizabeth's summit there. But these clouds, I don't think they're going anywhere. <laughs> Not too redeeming after fighting wasps like that. Oh my God. Hopefully we get a little something, but you know, we need some exercise anyways, right? Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's some snow. And now we got a view of the big Elizabeth. Might be clear on the other side, so it looks, doesn't look like too complicated of an approach for the most part. We're gonna go check it out. But this side is Sauk City, and this side is blue ice, so we'll see. So here we can see the path before this cl cloud comes through. You go up the ridge, a little weather tower. That's the saddle, not bad at all. And there's the summit, so I think it's totally doable as long as we just stay on the ridge and I'll see what happens with this cloud. It's actually a little more well walked than we were expecting and uh, easy to follow. I think the only exposure we're gonna get is on this ridge. We're starting to see the other side a little bit too, which is nice. Wow, we're just surrounded by snow-capped peaks in here in Northern BC, they're gorgeous. So hopefully we'll get a good peek at them up at the top there. We're in sun and then fog, and then sun, and then fog, which is making this pretty classic alpine. <laughs> it took a while, but now we're in the mix, and we're getting paid, paid, uh, paid off here. Payouts here. Some blue sky up top. We're seeing some of the surrounding mountains and ranges, and we're in the open alpine. It's a nice cool wind, so this is what it's all about now, and definitely making it, the 15 beast things a little more worthwhile. All right, we're on Little Lizzie now. Big Lizzie's to our left. So that's a saddle and we're gonna climb up and over that. But the view from Little Lizzie is gorgeous. We got this super cool, sophisticated weather station here with like a little wind turbine and solar power. It's like the newest one we've seen. Usually they're all kind of old. And a very, 
expansive view of the uh, the Kitimat mountain ranges. Just gorgeous, snow covered. Man, I wish these clouds, it's still a pretty solid view, but I wish these clouds would just tuck away for us. Man, this is beautiful. We don't want that one. I don't think so. I think it's just up to there. So coming down into the saddle had a bit of loose rocks and now we're in here. Um, this really stalks up with snow early in the season. So you gotta hike this thing late in the season. Here's the last hundred meter push. We'll go up that ridge and uh, we'll be at the summit. Pretty excited to see the view from up there. Little glacier pool. That's the, that's the best water source we've pretty much seen this whole hike. And you can see all the snow is still, still sitting on that ledge. So we've made it to the summit. The GoPro is bugging out so I didn't get any footage on the way up. Lots of, uh, not too much exposure. There's a lot of exposure up here, but uh, it was quite the, uh, quite the scramble in the last portion. So definitely good to be careful. I'll give you a little, uh, little tour. Little Elizabeth, where we came from. There's the town of Kitimat. You can see lots of the surrounding mountains. And there's loads of snow. Glacier pocketed in there. There's a glacier off on the other side here too. You can't quite see it. And then loads of mountains on the other side. This is one of the highest um, in the in the range here in Kitimat, so it's great that uh, that we got up it. This is just beautiful. Now you can just see the uh, the ocean from Kitimat there. Um, there's a little inlet. So that's cool. I just got a quick video of that before the clouds close in again. Was it worth the bee stings, Laura? <sighs> I think so. I think so. It was bad. I got 15 stings. Laura's got her. Two, they're still throbbing. Two, two still throbbing. Horse flies were attacking Laura the entire way up and she was losing it. She had like three or four around her head and she was kind of, she wasn't too happy with it. But we're here, it was an amazing hike. Definitely worth, uh, definitely worth a four hour push. Gonna be a long one back. We pretty much can see all the surrounding mountains when the kind of clouds move and go back and move and go back. But uh, we have a view, so it made it, made it well worth it. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have a quick little snack up here and, uh, and then we're gonna head down. We're thinking it's gonna be about four hours, um, four hours down to the car as well. So coming back down from the summit, it's quite mm -hmm. steep. It was really handy to use your hand. So, oh my God, I thought that rock was gonna fly down at me. What's the strategy here? I don't know yet. Right on. That worked. <laughs> there she is. fog comes in so quick here. It was clear at the summit a minute ago. And now this fog is engulfing it in like three minutes. Oh my gosh. We couldn't see the ridge line coming up this morning, but it's really gorgeous. Now we can see it. The summit is a bit engulfed in uh, cloud, but here we can see the ocean there in Kitimat kind of peeking out. We can see it peeking out over the mountainside too. And then we can see all these mountain ranges as we... Yeah, that glacier is amazing. Little Lizzie's back in the cloud, but we are in total sunshine, baby. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh yeah, I see it right out of the inlet. It's just gorgeous. This is, this is ultimate. Like this is a great one to do in Kitimat. No doubt about that. We are back at the car. It was, uh, it was a killer day. It was seven and a half hours total. So now we're back down to the vehicle. We got to drive this haywire logging road uh, back to the main logging road. Um, it was it was awesome today. Mount Elizabeth is a must do if you're in Kitimat, so definitely check it out. Uh, we're gonna go find a spot to swim and make some dinner, and I'm probably gonna go fishing. And it's gonna be a great night. But I'm I'm really happy we did that. Uh, hopefully we go out, we get through these bushes unscathed as we did on the way up. And yeah, thanks for um, thanks for joining us. It was a lot of fun. I appreciate you watching. Give me a like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And I'll uh, see you next time. I've got some horrible news. The uh, the cowboy hat, the Indiana Jones uh, adventure hat that was on the antenna of my truck, um, it fell off. It's not there the, anymore. It's not there anymore. So I'm going to have to get something new. Yeah, I'm going to have to get something new. My trademark, uh, trademark hat there is gone. So if anyone finds it in Kitimat, put it on your antenna and rock it because I'm going to miss that thing. It's been with us for whole trip. this whole trip. So I'm kind of sad, but we couldn't we couldn't find it coming down. So... Way she goes. Hey, little 